to uh, show everybody how you can build your own skateboard canoe simulator that's on wheels. And what I did was I started with an old furniture doll and I just patterned it after that. <clears throat> so I took the wheels off and for the dimensions, I didn't use these exact dimensions because the wood is a little bit thinner in width than I wanted. And so I just went and bought uh, pine wood that's uh, five by one. And so I bought three six foot sections of pine wood at Home Depot and had them cut them to size. And so the length wise here is four feet. And then I have three slats across that are 22 inches. They're not quite two feet. And how I determined that was based upon the chair. And I just bought a metal chair. So the total cost of this is less than $20. Um, so I just used the same bolts. They're quarter inch bolts, two inches long. And so I had a set of four sets of them to apply the wheels. And then I just set this slat here at a position just in front of the chair legs as I extended it. And then at the back, to give it more stability, I bought some furniture holders, you know, that you put on the bottom of furniture legs um, to hold them in, so they don't scratch your floors. And I just bought some rubber furniture holders. That was a couple of bucks. Then I also bought a broom handle because I didn't want to damage my paddle as I was paddling around on the skateboard canoe. So as you can see, what I did was I cut the broom handle shorter than the paddle because I wanted to simulate where my hand position was when I was entering the water. So about here. And this allows me with, and I also put a, a furniture uh, whole leg piece on the end of the broomstick. So this allows me a grip on the cement and able to show the stroke. And so this is not slipping all around. Anyway, it's easy to make. You can pattern the holes after the ones that are on the furniture dolly. You just place it on top of the wood and just drill through it pattern and then I just used two bolts on each side for the cross member and I'm also intending to put two other slats in the front because some people don't spread their legs out as far as I do or maybe they don't have as wide a butt as I do so anyway I thought I'd show everyone how to build it and it's like I said it's less than 20 bucks um, the chair is another 10, I think, 10 or less, something like that. One of the things I forgot to mention, it's, it's better to go and buy a, a furniture dolly for about 20 bucks and you'll get four wheels. If you were to go and buy the wheels independently, they're about $10 a piece. So it'll cost you $40 for the wheels if you buy it independently. And these furniture dollies are rated for 500 pounds, which is another consideration. Anyway, I hope you can build it based on these instructions. Thanks.